So yeah, so yeah, so today is, is um I, I wanted to be kind of different, you know. This is like an angle that most people don't even think about, like the actual benefits of dating, you know, a masculine woman, but even more so, what is really the origin story of a masculine woman? What makes a woman masculine? You know, why is she masculine? A lot of times it ain't always just from her wanting to be that way. A lot of times this is just all she knows, if that makes sense, right? So I got like two little two little shorts to like play, two little quick little shorts, and we can go dissect it really deep. But um, let's get into it. Uh oh, you bump on me. I you mean, me. you go look at the screen. Oh, you up, bump on me. Up. Hold on. All right, let me go in here and see what's going on with my. Oh, is that my, rich? Yeah, that's rich. Oh, my goodness, that's rich. rich. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? Dang, it's been 30 years. <laughs> Golly, I hope you live living right. Yeah, just eight. I'm I'm feeling all right. I see y'all bright shining, y'all glowing. Yep. It's the melon oh, hang. It's always popping. <laughs> Got you. Pop, all right. Pop. So it's a quick little short, right quick, like two little quick little shorts. I want to kind of so she can express kind of like her perspective right quick. But a masculine woman is born out of a need of survival. That's why it's so hard for a woman coming from a lower socioeconomic status to be convinced to trust in a man because it just hasn't happened before. But a masculine woman is born out of a need of survival. That's why it's so hard for a woman coming from a lower socioeconomic status to be. So that's like, that's a very deep thing. You know, obviously all women are not just masculine because she wants to be, it's, it's a lot of times. As a, as a man, as a man, no, no, let me finish. As a man, you're going to be out in the world, destroying the world, doing what you do, et cetera. When you come home, you don't want that same energy. You don't want to have Who to be. Says that I have the same energy, but what you need to understand uh -huh. is that because a woman wants to speak her mind and disagree with you, uh -huh. does not make her a combative masculine problem. It does not. Yes, it does if you do it consistently. No, it does not. You are fucking delusional. <laughs> oh, man. No, I want to fucking. Ah. The producer is telling me to fucking move on, but I actually want to fucking talk about. And we're going to stop that right there. But nevertheless, I just want to play some quicker. I know, yeah, that one, that one's out of line. But nevertheless, I want to play the first one and then the second one so you can kind of see the difference. But nevertheless, for the first one, I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all yeah, probably never identified it, but even more so for me, that's how I look at it in regards to like when you deal with the woman, really actual stuff, is she really this way or she just never been able, or she never had an environment safe for that? Mm -hmm. So for me, I look at the benefits of like, wow, this is going to show exactly what type of man that I am what actually allows her to be who she is. But nevertheless, Ashley, what did you feel about the shorts? First? Um, yeah, like, uh, as far as, like, the first video, uh, she's right. Some women um, are more masculine just because that's all, you know what I mean? That It's just what it is. Like, I think that the second video, um, it was disturbing for me to watch. Like, as a woman, like, I don't, I don't know, like, as I'm developing, you know, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, there's just things that I can't do, right? Mm -hmm. and to be a woman, like, I don't want to be, like, the way I was watching that video, the second one, I just didn't want to watch it. It's like, girl, mm, like, <laughs> no, like, first off, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but as a woman, I feel like there's a delicacy that you should have in your interaction um even if you are a quote-unquote masculine woman you're a woman like it doesn't take you what the fuck he delusional all that extra shit that's girl i don't even want to hear you um can i say something real quick mm -hmm. i think with that second video because i i kind of agree with you with that but i think i need to see more context like to see like what happened prior to what was being said and why she got to that point because sometimes I do feel like just people in general if you keep pushing or you know poking the bear the bear might scratch and I feel like it could have been a situation for her where she was just annoyed you know what I mean at that very moment answering whatever question or answering however she needed to answer within that moment so I get what you're saying that was probably not the best way to like approach it but then I also too wish I saw prior yeah and see that's the thing like I don't need to see it prior because like I said I just I don't know I'm in a different headspace right I'm 
I'm developing and I'm growing in a different mm -hmm. way. And if I feel like I can't get my point across or I'm not being heard, I'm not going to get ugly with you. I'm just going to get quiet. Like, I'm just going to leave. I'm going to exit. Like, I think it's a lot of, it says a lot about a woman, how she uh, reacts and how she, um, you know, expresses herself under pressure. Mm -hmm. I think that that is beautiful. Remember, mm -hmm. we talked about it uh, not too long ago. What is the woman you want to be like or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I said, uh, like, uh, um, Sarita Jakes, uh, Bishop T.D. Jake's wife how she keeps her decorum and stuff like that I respect a woman like that you mm -hmm. know but off top I don't I don't respect or want to hear nothing from her I got you and I can definitely say too for me um just just dating um masculine woman you know honestly the biggest benefit that I got it just showed me what type of man that I was what type of man I didn't want to be you know a lot of times you have to deal with you know those type of women or for me I didn't even know what all this shit was <laughs> I would be really slow and even more so understanding, like, you know, my first she was Jamaican. She was very, um, she was very strong. <laughs> it even showed even more so how I guess I wasn't that damn strong myself. Or I didn't really know how to have a foundation. It was kind of like whatever type of vibe. And the last one, obviously, it was just more so, you know, allowing to really believe, um, not having structure and roles, I would say. So, like, for me, the biggest benefits was understanding, like, yo, seeing this masculine woman I actually appreciate it because it actually blossomed me into be more of the man that I am it, had, it allowed me to know I need to elevate and that's the type of woman I want to be around but even more so another benefits for me it's just like for instance like you know I would say Zena right most men would probably think she's more masculine because she speaks her fucking mind but I like women that speaks their minds I like that and even more so if men and that's what turns a man off I'm like cool bro I, I'm cool I like women be, I like being around women like that like like Ashley you would be you know, like, damn, she speaks her mind. Like, she's not shit. Fuck, I'm not like, I'm like, bro, that's not it, bro. You're just not that type of man who gives off that or of a safe environment. Go ahead. A safe environment. It, is, is a woman uh, being communicative, like, viewed as as that? Because it's like, if it's if overly done. That. If it's overly done. But go ahead, Rich. I see you unmuted yourself, bro. Yeah. Um, I've had this realization, I, I think, um, a lot more lately. Uh, as I as I get back into my like sales influence type of bag, I've been on a lot of calls and I want to take away the frame of women versus men for a second, like this, the quote unquote sexist thing, because to be agreeable is that's like, I think that's like chapter three in how to win friends and influence people, right? Like, I think speaking your mind and being agreeable are two very different things. Like, I think it is very attractive and very like, you know, nice to be around people that can speak their opinions and stuff but if you're in like a group setting y'all are all out to dinner or drinks or something and somebody's just like disagreeing left and right like mm, no I don't agree it <laughs> it's like it's like well why you know and and men or women that do that like if a guy is constantly doing that I think other guys would see it as okay that's um like, like it's, it kind of reads as an insecurity, right? Like if yeah. you see a guy that's, kind of, yeah, like another guy would be like, all right, bro, I got, unless it's like, uh, unless we're, we're going with that energy, like it's a sports debate or like, we're, if we're moving with that energy, then it's fun. It's playful. It's like a different type of thing. Like, uh, no, I like vanilla. You like chocolate. That's a fun thing. If you're, you know what I'm saying? With you and your girl or whatever it is, but to just be disagreeable is to not, you, you just don't know how to make friends. You just really bad at communicating. Yeah, and um, and it and it and I think it, it yells at insecurity, but to go back on the second clip to really just comment on that, I think she's I think she was already being set up like her momentum, her energy was already on a certain trajectory, mm -hmm. and it, it it wasn't fair that she wasn't being guided back to her center, because obviously she's gonna say some important stuff like yeah I think I should be able to speak my mind like that's valid, but to have her be an example of being disagreeable on the spot, I think the host of the show set her up to be like that. I don't think that's fair. You know what I'm saying? So that's I feel like I'm they got that from Fresh and Fit. It seemed like that framework was kind of yeah, like Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it seemed like it was catching, they was copying, they're trying to copy them and everybody's trying to copy them in that regard because they blew up. But I can definitely say with everything you said, it's definitely, it's definitely something to be around a woman who, agrees just to agree and disagree just to disagree just kind of like look I ain't trying to hear what you're trying to say fuck it I just go with it like for me you know just being around a woman like friends Zena right most men would think she's she's masculine 
But for me, I'm like, no, I, I like realness. I like rawness. You know, that's just what the fuck I fuck with. If you think she's mad cool, get out the way. <laughs> you know, women like that, get out the way. I like the women that men, they look like, damn, she's beautiful and bad. But when they're talking like, bro, damn, I got to have a different type of patience. I got to have a different type of tone. Damn, I need to mean what I say. I need to watch what I say. That's going to elevate you as a man, if that makes sense. It, it elevates your attributes of who you are if you have to deal with that woman. And whenever you get that type of woman appreciating you, you automatically are a different type of man. And for me, I would say I had a lot of years of annoyance with a woman that was more masculine than most. And she was feminine but with my ex, but she was kind of masculine. But she had all them years of annoying me and a lot of attributes about myself that she seemed greater in and actually allowed me to blossom over time. So there's a big benefit to just elevate me to on the level of just like, damn, a lot of masculine women sometimes see shit in a man that feminine woman won't even allow to just probably say and firmly and seriously and all like sometimes we need that type of shit because we allow like the bros we talk to each other very firmly and all that like who and then when a woman's like bro that's not even your place but nevertheless when you actually look at a woman and you allow that to come in it's coming from an even deeper place than the bros saying it but go ahead rich i see you unmuted yourself bro mm-hmm. um i just wanted to add like I, I think um i think the traits of what you'd call a queen are i think um i think maybe society or like you know freedom feminism liberation is an important thing and i think um because men empowering each other on this like king sort of attitude is the sound of the game right and it's like what's out there mm -hmm. um women are attracted to that as well naturally because it's it's something that is empowering um but i think there's like if, if you google on youtube right now um queen mindset i think there's maybe three or four creators that are really talking about feminine energy queen mindset on like a really deep dive um and in the spirit of the queen just passing i don't know if people love their hate her but i think it's a queen trait to be so influential that you appear to be agreeable yet you get your point across and move nations like i think that's an important trait to have mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like that's yeah that's some deep stuff yeah that was some deep stuff that you just said i don't know if y'all caught that but that was some deep stuff um brian what about you bro what did you get from the clips bro and everything that's been said so far bro I think he got, I think he got service, but I don't know. What about you, Zena? Um, I mean, that first clip, I mean, I kind of forgot because we were so focused on the second one, if I'm being honest with you. No, oh, but even more so everything we just said. Um, everything, just said. I mean, I agree. I feel like some, I will say this, I feel like the masculine and feminine energy, since this is like kind of a trend right now, I feel like it's getting thrown around because people may not agree so like say if a woman is disagreeing or whatever I feel like a man would be like oh you got masculine masculine energy and it's like no I just don't agree with you or whatever I still have very much feminine energy or whatever the case may be but you know that's the key thing that you just said most men don't even know what the fuck that even means <laughs> like and I just feel like just because it's trending like yeah you know it's it's like just like um what was it like cancel culture oh that's canceled or whatever the case may be like I feel like people don't understand like the the deeper meaning of it or oh I'm spiritual it's like do you are you really spiritual like you know what I mean or are you just copying the trend let's look it up let's look it up together <laughs> Let's define masculine. I hope I spell it right. <laughs> we got all the correct. I think we do. Oh, I mean, no, for real talk, like most people be saying these words, but you don't even and know they what don't they know. mean. They don't I'm like, bro, why are you throwing around the word? Having qualities that um, appearances traditionally associated with men. Okay, all right. I guess that, goddamn. I guess that's straight to the point, ain't it? <laughs> the male sex or gender. Denoting is gender. Okay. Well, I guess it must be this. And having qualities of appearance traditionally associated with men. Hmm. So I guess in, I'm guessing strength is associated with, with men. I was going to say, look at the uh, synonyms. Those always help. Yeah. yeah but I mean, it's just like, I just feel like people throw that around just just because they may not agree with what a person may be saying or whatever the case may be. Well, mainly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I mean, I guess. So, Rich, would you say like, um, would you say a woman talking real strong? Is that considered a masculine woman or a woman talking passionate? Like, what's the difference between strong and passion when a woman talks? I don't know if you got to say muted. Did you get to say muted? I what about you got? I can say, well, I can say masculine energy. I, I don't know. Like, I feel like music today gives off masculine energy. Like, some of the shit that, like, City Girls, Meg Stallion, 
all them like I feel like they like definitely promote that and I feel like young women like uh oh hi Ty (laughs) I feel like a lot of young women like go with the flow of that and they're like yeah fuck these niggas next y and z they feel the need to disrespect men and that that can be like a situation of them giving off masculine energy I'm not sure if you guys agree but that's just how I feel about it um for me I would say the masculine energy that I pay attention to is in like their word of choice when they're having conversation. Like if a, if a woman is always like, oh God, oh God, like <laughs> that's masculine energy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, or if a woman is like, if, y'all, if, you, if you're with a woman and y'all are dating or exclusively dating or whatever, y'all mess around with each other and she's constantly calling you bro, like you one of the bros, like that's masculine energy like just certain stuff like that like certain verbiage like certain word choices that i feel like you're a little bit more bro-ish let's go even deeper. like what, what about her music would you say that her music could kind of get through y'all too like a girl listen to pop smoke it's like this is what it's yeah, like. yeah 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 no <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest that's very unattractive to me like like girls that's gonna throw on like just that yeah, I shot a nigga grandma, then I robbed his baby mama, then yeah, I was ready for the drama. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah, like damn, like, like, hold yeah. on. First of all, you ain't never even seen a gun. Secondly, why are you listening to all this hate all day? Like, damn. Yeah. So yeah, music I think that music definitely plays uh plays a role. Um but uh other masculine traits, I feel like a woman that plays sports, like they'll I feel like they'll they'll um naturally pick up bro-ish tendencies because a sport like you with the bros you with your teammates like you know so like in my experiences with like dealing with girls who play volleyball who play soccer who play so basketball Taylor, I need to speak on this one I'm sorry <laughs> yeah. Taylor Taylor plays volleyball so yeah, yeah. So, like, so like my experiences with girls who play volleyball soccer softball basketball it's almost like especially on campus like like that's the bros like you know like if y'all not messing with each other on that kind of level like that's the bros like you the home girl you know what i'm saying and like y'all are able to have like those kind of bro-ish conversations that you probably might not have with a girl that's you know they they don't conduct themselves that way like they're not open you know to that kind of you know that kind of thing and even even as far as like uh being on campus and being an athlete a female athlete and like just wearing sweats or like just wearing your your athletic gear. I feel like that's broish in a way. And that's fine. Like I like these things. You know, I love athletes, athletes the girls that play that play sports, you know. I just I'm just pointing out certain things that for me, I feel like that's kind of broish versus a girl who's like getting dressed up and putting her makeup on every day to go to class. Like this girl just got out of practice, okay? She's about to throw on her volleyball shorts and her t-shirt and her hair's going to be messed up and yeah, that's just that. Kind of like a guy like we about to just throw on this t-shirt don't yeah. want to have a far hair messed up. Don't want some shorts, and then we go into class. So, what are some of the positives about all of that, brother? Like, what is like the top things you actually like about those type of women? Uh, the relatability, because like just being an athlete, like just being an athlete, it's important to have a woman that if she doesn't play sports, like because I, I, I've dated uh, one of the. You see, you can hear me now. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Now yeah, it's like it, it, it's like that, but like she knows about it. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. It went all the way out. You said, "Can we hear you now?" And then it went out. And then what? what you okay, say? okay, okay. Was I was I was saying that um, like for me personally, dealing with a girl who has masculine tendencies, it just just makes it more relatable. I feel like the I like sports, so obviously, um, obviously, if I like sports. If you never played sports, you know, I dated women who they never played a sport, but they know about the football game. They know about the basketball game. They have favorite players. They never played, but they could talk about the sport like like Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp on Undisputed. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I love that kind of thing. And then I feel like me, I, I have, like, a lot of uh, humor and, like, joking around and, like, you know, playing around with each other in my relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I feel like when you date a girl who has masculine tendencies, she's more – open to like y'all joking on each other and like you know ragging on each other kind of like how you and Zena do like y'all will bag on each other and it'll be cool like you know what I'm saying 
versus like some girls that I've dealt with where they've been a lot more feminine. Like I might be joking, but like it really might have hurt their feelings. And like they yeah, don't have I can't that, do like, that with no feminine women. I can't yeah, be my like, honestly, I feel like I can't. I'm sorry, bro. I, go ahead, go ahead. I can't be myself. I can't be my full self with a with a true feminine woman. I'm sorry. I gotta be more mindful of my emotions and this like that, which is fine. But like for me, I'm a jokester, bro. I talk shit all the time. That's just I'm naturally like that. And so I like I rather those type of women who's a little bit more who's um not as not as soft on inside. I, I, I don't mind right. edges a little bit. That should be funny though. To me, it's funny as hell. Like the other day, what yeah. was, me and Caleb were talking. And Caleb was like, you were imitating my laugh. Like, he was literally... Yeah, she going, laughed like he swallowed her tongue. Like, that shit's crazy. I'm like, man, like, that shit sounds like, Lord have mercy. It was, I don't know. Yeah, like, I'm, I have to laugh when I'm not, like, laughing. But yeah, it's just like a... Like, like she's drowning in I'm place. like, kind of like, humming, but he was yeah. talking shit about that. And I, I couldn't help but to laugh. Yeah. Like, right. I, it makes the relationship better. So. Yeah, but I'm always cracking though. I, I, for me, I just look at it. It just toughens your skin, man. Life ain't nice, but nevertheless, I mean, bro, it's just it's just joking. It ain't my heart. But um, what up, Zoe? What up? What up? Hi, Zoe. Zoe, you can hear us. Uh oh. By the way, beautiful Zoom picture. If you can hear us, I know how she modeling. Oh, that's a great man. Zoom picture. I, gotta... yeah, I can hear y'all. I was trying to get to Zoom, but yeah, hey y'all. What up? What up? What up? So I don't know if you know, but today's topic is based upon the benefits of dating a masculine woman. And we went over some videos already, but since you kind of here already right now, what do you feel are some of the benefits of masculine woman? And what is your, like your your biggest thing, even having friends that's masculine? Mm, I don't know. I mean, what's y'all definition of masculine? Like we just went over it. She missed that, Caleb. And no, I'm saying <laughs> it's funny. I'll share my screen again so you can see it as well. Having qualities and appearance traditionally associated with men, and then obviously some synonyms and stuff like that, manly, you know, ma you know, man like all this stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. I just make sure we're on the same page. Okay. Um, what was your question though? You what you asked me? So I was asking in the sense of first, I want to approach what are some benefits of being masculine as a woman? What you think? And even more so, do you even have masculine friends that you just dislike the most? Um. I don't know because I'm a feminine I'm like really feminine I'm a girly girl so I can't really speak on like the positives of having a masculine woman because like to me like relationships I notice where there's like a masculine woman it just tends to clash heads a lot with like the man because the masculine woman is trying to do the duties or like have the responsibilities of the things a man should have in a relationship and it's kind of like lowering his ego because now I don't know how to explain it but I just always find like with masculine women trying to date it's just a clash and it's always like arguing because she is trying to um you know not be the man but Tip take on part, a lot yeah. Of, yeah take on a lot of the man's like responsibilities i guess so yeah that's what i would say i'm a very feminine person so i don't really know <laughs> have you ever been told that you had some masculine traits anything like that from a guy or no no well all right okay okay <laughs> gotcha gotcha well, i appreciate you expressing yourself what actually what about you ashley in regards to actually um ever been told that you was masculine um it's so funny because this topic i i was like when i saw it i was like that's a good topic. But now that I'm here, I'm like, this is a damn good topic. <laughs> because it's so crazy, right? I actually went out last week and I was hanging out with a gentleman. And um, <laughs> she said, gentleman. I love it. <laughs> she, I love it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I didn't agree with everything he was saying, right? And my voice was lower than it is now. Because I've, at first, I was extreme. I had a, I exhibited a lot of masculine energy at first. No, I wouldn't even say that. I'm just a strong person. You know what I'm saying? I'm a strong person. You said a key thing too that turns guys off if a woman has a deep voice. It's like, all right, what's going on here? Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, we were discussing and then I, I could feel his energy, like his pressures rising. I'm like, and so I just kept being myself though, speaking calmly. And he's like, well, what's the problem? I'm like, 
I was like, there's, there's no problem. I just don't agree with your, your saying, which is okay. I'm a black African American, beautiful woman that you're, you're speaking with, first of all. Um, so your tone is a little raised and there's no need. Uh, second of all, just because I don't agree with what you're saying, doesn't mean there's a problem. I just don't agree. I'm mm -hmm. not one of those motherfuckers that's going to pretend either. Do you want me to pretend to agree? Cause that's not me either. And he was like, okay, okay. And like dismissing me basically. And I said, oh, okay. Does okay mean for me to shut the fuck up now? Is that what you're trying to say? Cause you keep saying that. And I'm a little confused. And he's like, no, it doesn't mean to shut the fuck up, but it's just like, I don't want to talk about that no more. I said, okay. I paid for my tab and I walked through smooth out that bitch because it's like, it says a lot to me if a man can't, just like I said earlier, women, I feel should speak a certain way to men and men vice versa. Yeah. Um, and it's just like, like when um, Outlaw mentioned the sweats and stuff like that, in the sports it kind of made me it kind of made me giggle like Taylor plays sports I, I mean I ran track uh, I played basketball I mean but I'm also a cheerleader and a dancer we ran we had to wear sweats all the time too so it was just kind of cute to hear what he was saying I was listening to and I love what he was saying but I was like sometimes I was like hmm, maybe I'm masculine I don't know that I'm masculine because I'm thinking you know, under these sweats is an outfit that only covers my chichis and my butt crack, right? So I'm like still hopping out with my pom-poms, right? But maybe right. I am. But also what I realize is too, sometimes like I was raised by a single teenage mom. She had me a month after she turned 16 and she had to be both my mom and my dad. And so I, I watched a lot of masculinity like type vibes from my mom that she was forced to display, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And so now in my adult life, I'm trying to balance that, right? Because don't no man want to lay down with another dude, like, unless that's his thing. And he's hey, it's all over the place now. They got they got a guy laying down with a dude that's a girl with low key, uh, you know. It's a lot. Yeah. So it's like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing good because I'm finding a balance. Like I said, just being true to myself, but knowing how to express myself without, coming off a certain way if that makes sense no i got you now you definitely said some key things like we just went over the definition of masculine but people still have their own definition of it Enjoy i that. think that's the funny thing about it and that's the world we live in social media and so many people's perspectives and it's like oh i like that so i like very cool but this is my own summary of it versus like bro what is the actual definition of it? yeah and I, it's so crazy because i think that i have a very balance situation i think i have masculine energy but i do have a lot of feminine energy so it's super balanced and so in order for me to be successful in a relationship i'm gonna have to have a strong man that has a balance as well um and if not it just won't work because there are some men out here that have a lot of feminine ass energy and i can't do that shit at all yeah go ahead okay okay yeah um, I was going to say, I was going to say, um, yeah, it's about a balance. Like I was uh, like, you know, cause I know some, I know some girls that play sports that'll get down and dirty on that basketball court. But once we step out, she is a girly girl, bro. Like makeup done up, nails done, everything done up. But when she steps on that field, nah, brother, she's coming <laughs> for your heart. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's definitely a balance. Yeah. Uh, Rich man, how you feel about everything being said, brother? What's been going on in your head over there, brother? My bad, guys. I'll check right back in with you. Okay. All right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Brian, man, well, how you been feeling about everything being said, brother? I'm just trying to take everything in and see everybody viewpoint of a masculine woman. And that's about it. You see your queen on here? Yeah, yeah. She made her first guest <laughs> alone. Good shit. What about you, Taylor? About everything being said so far, man, about the masculine things and everything like that. And also being, you know, part of sports. I agree. Um, I think, you know, like they said, there is a balance that has to be maintained. Um, I agree that women don't necessarily want to be feminine. I don't, I don't, think, I mean, don't want to say want to be masculine. I don't think any woman in the world honestly wants to be masculine. Um, 
but you know certain things that they have a passion for and pursue do have certain masculine trajectories upon society I'll say that so that's you know where maybe the sweats coming off as manlyhood but really she's just covering up you know and I know that because I'm actually a coach and I'm an athlete so it's like you know I just know how things are ran as well so it's just like it's not necessarily that women are masculine I think just some things they learn a part of life based on how they grew up teach them how to be aware of masculine tendencies and learn how to pivot off of them and utilize them you know what I'm saying the for themselves because ultimately a lot of things women do in life we need some masculine skills to yeah. get through. So I think it's not even that we want to be. It's just there is. And as you can see, a lot of women love the idea of, of love. You know, we're natural nurturers. We're natural caregivers, natural lovers. So to look for a partner who we can be completely submissive and feminine to would be great. You know what I'm saying? And to still have our own identities and be strong women but not be seen as masculine because we're able to, you know, tell him when he's wrong. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's just love in a different way. That's a communication. That's a healthy argument, per se. That's not necessarily, you know, so that's just how I feel. But I agree with everyone. Um, I don't really think anyone was incorrect. And I agree with both of the videos. I just hate that, like you said earlier, she kind of had to be taken out of character. Um, or, and also that she chose to be taken out of character um, mm -hmm. and had to be, right. but yeah. You spoke to some good things to think about. And I was like, people, people don't understand and create longevity nowadays as a man, you got to have emotional intelligence. And that's kind of based upon feminine understanding that balance within yourself to actually create longevity. Now, women, you got to be more feminine, but I do need to understand how to do shit for yourselves a little bit as well. So understanding like back in the day versus it is now we, everybody, we all had to evolve accordingly to the absence of the need on both both sides, unfortunately. And it's a, it's a correct we don't live in society that's got a lot of correction to happen, unfortunately, with technology and all this access to people. But nevertheless, you, 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 you sparked up a good question. I want to hear the woman's perspective on this. Um, let me start with Zoe. But I, I would want to understand, what is your, what do you find as strength that's not masculine? For instance, like, you know, to be man-like, but now what do you think it is to be a strong woman? Mm. I think women just speaking their mind in a relationship shouldn't come off as masculine because I feel like maybe some people think it's challenging a man whenever you speak your mind on a certain situation or give your opinion. Um, it might come off like, you know, you're like you're challenging him and that kind of gives masculine energy. But I mean, I don't think it should. It's just a part of a relationship like y'all both have to have to communicate and come to agreements and um both of the parties like viewpoints should be taken into consideration so I think that's a trait that shouldn't be be identified as um masculine I think you said a key thing that most guys overlook is understanding that like bro like for me I, I like going to a woman to have because y'all just have y'all got tapped into something different so y'all gonna give us some other ideas and perspectives once we didn't give you all the information at hand right and for me I like like yo if you challenge me okay it's not I don't look at this challenge like oh would you got another perspective I'm like ah, I don't think that's gonna work but the thing about it is that men don't allow that that environment for y'all to be able to talk openly and y'all start to restrict yourself over time and like bro like i'm just trying to help i'm just trying to give some respect I'm not trying to challenge you but men don't know how to take that step back like bro it's not about no masculine shit it's like yo, i'm here to help i'm here to, to give perspective now obviously there's a time and place for it but nevertheless i mean i would think when women fucks with you they don't do it all the time it's it's not on some it's more so on decisions that that she feels that hey babe, like, let's do this idea instead of this uh, like we probably want to eat this instead of that or some stuff that's probably better for us and like cool because you guys think about shit differently than we do obviously but nevertheless too y'all remember all the conversations versus then we go day by day and just, hey, we don't try to remember all the things but nevertheless that was some good things that you said so i appreciate that that's also the way that the woman comes off about it too because some women like come off on the situation like already with that masculine energy per se like just you know like raising her voice or you know it's just the way it's the delivery too on, on a certain topic because that could come masculine as well but yeah I think um for me like one of my strengths is being submissive to get like my masculine or whatever point across so like 
say if like I'm trying to give a good example right now. I was trying to like get one, but say, oh, actually, how about this? Say if I'm like telling, um, I'm talking to Caleb or whatever. I'm like, hey, Caleb, like um, my delivery first is like calm, cool, collect, and like, hey, Caleb, can you can you sweep or whatever? And he's not really full of with it. Then I'm like, okay can you sweep because we let the outside in and X, Y, and Z and we might get sick behind X, Y, and Z or whatever the case may be. If I'm explaining myself calmly, I feel like I get um, I get a better response versus like me yelling and talking, you know what I mean? Talking like rude and X, Y, and Z. So I think for me, like my, sum oh, oh, good to go. oh, sorry. I think, yeah, I think being submissive for me is like my biggest strength as a woman because it is true like delivery is everything men don't listen to you when you yell and cussing and fussing they really don't unless it's a situation where you know you you upset and that man continues to disrespect you in that way they still may not listen but you know it's just sometimes it, it is based upon delivery how Zoe was saying I can just say this for me, uh, mask, I like I, when I was dating masculine women, it helped me identify all the things I didn't like, but even more so, it, it identified a lot of things about myself that was probably weak. And um, that's why I, that's the biggest thing I enjoyed. I'm like, damn, I'm on a journey, like, damn, shit, I don't even, this masculine woman shit, this is breaking me down, but I need one more feminine versus like, you know what, instead of running from something, let me embrace it and see how it turns out. Okay. And, okay. and then by doing so, you know, honestly, any woman that comes around me, it's automatic, like, she ain't masculine around me. Like a lot of women that, that they're like, damn, she's real. Like, not to me, she ain't, she's real feminine. It's mm -hmm. because of my aura's changed, but even more so I, I evolved from understanding. It's, I just got to evolve. <laughs> you know, and a lot of times in life, people complain about shit. It's like, bro, just evolve. You know what I'm saying? Just take it in. It's like basketball, bro. What is my, my role is the six man? Okay, I'm never going to be a star. I'm going to maximize this damn role. That's what it's going to be. But if I'm always attract masculine women, cool, then I'm about to embrace this role and I'm about to flip the script on them. Right. And even like the most masculine women that like come off as mas masculine, they're probably submissive to the right man or submissive behind closed doors to their men or whatever. Like y'all remember when Cardi B was talking about I'm cook, I'm clean, I got that ring or whatever the case may be. Also, it was like, this girl be cooking and cleaning. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? But it's all a facade. You know what I mean? She's the one, like for her, I can't, I can't speak because I don't know her whole life, but I'm sure she's masculine to him because you know what I mean? Like I know masculine, but submissive to him because that's how she feels. That's how she feels that she wants to treat him. And that's how she feels that she wants to act towards him. Other men, it might be a different situation. You know what I mean? What about you, Ashley McGraw? What did you feel as a strong woman? That's not masculine, but a strong woman. Yeah, it was, it was something I was trying to explain when I was explaining to a girl that was getting all fly in the uh, second clip. It's decorum. Um, that's something that I was actually looking it up when you um because I was like how can I explain to these folks on here what I'm trying to really get across here uh, some similar some similar um okay so the definition of decorum behavior in keeping with good taste and uh propriety and then one of the similar uh words are etiquette protocol good form um etiquette. you know stuff like that uh politeness right Cooth. See, the thing about it is, right, to be a strong woman, it does take decorum. And like I told you guys when, when I was on that date last week and he had me fucked up, instead of telling him in his face, you got me fucked up. I didn't say nothing. I paid my tab and I left. And I'm not going to get out. I'm not going to get out my, my form. I'm not going to, I'm not even, I'm through talking. Yeah. You know, because after you didn't dismiss me, you you've disrespected my voice. You've told me basically to shut the fuck up. And so now it's time for me to go, because if if I can't communicate with you, I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to be slaying cur curse words and doing all that when I'm in an intimate or trying to become intimate with a man. I want to keep my composure. I, and I feel like there's something there's something very feminine and beautiful about a woman that when they can't get it out or they're not being heard instead of getting ugly they can be seen they're fine yeah. because it is strength and silence and th this is something anybody i'm gonna tell you caleb taylor they know it best i know how to express myself and get my point across and say what the fuck hell everybody on here probably know that but yeah. sometimes what i had to learn coming up and and what i'm trying to instill in myself as a young woman here is that sometimes 
just shut the fuck up. And that's all the words you need to say. Because when a motherfucker see that you are quiet and you're somebody that knows how to communicate, then it allows them to do a self-reflection and say, damn, I ain't heard from this chicken about seven days straight. What's really going on? Right. A big thing and that you said. Hear me. A big thing that you said too, and people don't realize too, is it's it's at all times. Always monitor yourself. You know, a lot of times women they they be you know masculine by themselves. It's why it just grown to out of control to a whole another tree. And when they they don't know how to turn it off and it's like that, you know, it's just more so like, I mean, for me as just being around this type of woman, you know, I'm just like wow. You know, this is like, this is y'all lifestyle. <laughs> y'all always like this. And sometimes y'all be putting on a facade and it's like unfortunate. But nevertheless, it's just something to think about. What, what about you, Taylor? What do you, what do you think is a, um, a strong woman that's not masculine? You said, what do I think is a strong woman that's not masculine? Yeah. Um, shit. Um, <laughs> a lot of... I don't even know that's kind of a weird question because there's so many things you can describe a woman to be that you know doesn't necessarily mean she's masculine you know people just take it that way because they're offended they can't handle certain things being spoken to them you know and I think that's where a lot of that masculinity but also like Ashley said like how you compose like your composure with people how do you present yourself what type of energy do you allow you know to be in your space and you know knock you off or take you back or you know take you out of character you know what I'm saying and I think that's why, you know, our family raised us the way they raised us, you know, to always be presentable, you know, always be kind and courteous because we have manners, but we also are women who understand, you know, men, we're smart, we're independent, you know, we have a lot of skills and talent that have led us to be, you know, great women, great grades, you know, on a great path, great head on our shoulders, and God forbid we let a man come in, you know, and just distract us or take any of that away from us that doesn't have some type of, you know, potential to be a great man in our lives, you know, that makes us actually want to be submissive, you know, Mm -hmm. or not even submissive, just, you know, more of a woman that we already are, you know, just without that guard up because we want to make sure it's the right man, you know? Um, But yeah, I think it's a lot of things you can describe a a woman. I think a lot of the women on this call are like a perfect example of that. Um, And I don't think any of the women on this call are masculine. Um, I think if you were to come at them a certain way, disrespect the woman they are, um, or, you know, threat something they really genuinely care about it could get ugly um uh and no promises you ain't gonna wake up the next day and rethink some choices you know what I'm saying but that doesn't make her masculine you know it's just it's just what it is you know it's the way you present yourself to people you give the energy you want to receive and I just think that's really important but I mean I that's all I can say because if not it's gonna be hard to describe what a woman is I got you I got you and the reason why I wanted to ask you guys that is just to more so get get it, get in tune with understand. Okay, damn, how how am I a strong woman but not masculine? You know, it's to get you in a different head frame of like, damn, you know, a lot of men are not looking for masculinity, but how can I still be a strong woman? Because in the, the day, I know women have y'all have pride too. Y'all like, yo, I want to be the best woman that I can possibly be. But even more so in a, in the sense of guys, we want to know like, yo, why are you so strong? Why are you so doing like that? Cool. It's not because you're not maximizing the role of masculine. You masculinizing the other roles. Because masculinity is not the only framework that you need to be in. That's my lane. A lot of times, unfortunately, once you're dating with a guy, you start seeing all these motions. Who like, all right, bro? Clearly, I'm I'm about to be the man in this relationship. I'm about to be the man on this date because you fucking up and you on some flip flop stuff. I ain't got time for that. But for me, that's why I like the masculine woman because she gonna she gonna challenge you to get out of frame. And then once she realize she can't get you out of frame, she becomes feminine. Like, wow, I'm I, it's been so long since I dealt with a man that I didn't need to be that way at all. And that's the type of man that I evolved into. I'm like, I don't care what a woman is. I'm like, you can be like Monique. You're going to be feminine around me. They're not cool. I'm going to just keep moving, be around cool. And you're going to realize like, damn, you know what? I never had a man who just was just so chill with me. I'm like, damn, but I like masculine women. I like to tame those beasts. That makes sense to me. <laughs> most, men, most men can't handle them. Cool. Stand clear. I can. I, I cool with that. Because guess what? That What is that telling me? Yeah, nobody going to fuck with them. Better yet, too, that's more appreciation to me because a woman appreciate a man like that, a man to that level. But nevertheless, Rich, man, how you, Rich, Rich you back on, t- back in tune, brother? Because I know, Rich, you got, you got powerful words over there, brother. Rich be speaking bars. Okay, I think Rich probably still busy. But nevertheless, guys, man, let's go around for the, for the guys in regards to um, Tom. I'm going to ask you a question, brother, in regards to this. So now we have the strength of what a woman feels is a strong woman in that regard. What do you feel is a what do what would you like to see in a strong woman that's not masculine? Key attributes. 
Um, so when I think of a strong woman that's not masculine, y'all may laugh at me, but check it out. Hear me out here, man. When I think of a strong woman that's not masculine, I think of 90% of Gabrielle, Gabri of the characters that Gabrielle Union plays in movies. It's like that woman where it's like, she's very feminine, but like, she's stern. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost mm -hmm. like that intimidation factor. Like, I'm sure y'all don't seen most of the movies that Gabrielle Union is in, right? Yeah, most, all yeah. The, the, most of the characters that she plays. It's like, she's a feminine figure, but at the same time, she's not one to be fucked with. She has like this, she has like a seductive way of checking your ass. And that's what I was going to say. Like, I feel like a strong woman that's not masculine is a woman that knows how to how to speak up for herself in a seductive manner to where it's almost like, damn, like the man is like, OK, I'm going to listen. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, it, and it ain't because you're being masculine. It's because, like, you said it in such a seductive but strong way that it's like, I don't know. It just does something to men. It do something to me. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> You know, they do something. <laughs> so, um, the ultimate thing to control any man, any man of power, anything like that is submissive woman. And that's what you you basically saying that a woman who's who's maximized on understanding her true value. Well, understanding her true gift of like, damn, if I just talk sweetness and like that, he's gonna think I'm flirting with him because that's our superpower, but better yet, it all this is gonna be said in a firm way. And it's like, all right, all right, you got me, you got me. I listen. Yeah. I got you, got you. What about you, Brian? Well, he basically said what I wanted to say and how you just sponged on what he just said. That's basically what I wanted to say. So I don't really know anything else, though. I have to think on it. But I was about to say what he was going to say. But You can talk about Gabriel, Gabriel Union? I wasn't going to say Gabriel, but I was going to try to break it down in a way he just broke it down without the Gabriel Union part, you know. Gotcha. So, like, is there like a um? Because everybody got a celebrity crush and shit. My shit making good. Lord have mercy. And Melissa Ford. Whoo, bath water. I can be drunk and I can freeze it in, in ice cubes with it. But anyways, um, uh, in, in, in regards to in regards to Rich, Rich, what about you, bro? Yikes! <laughs> it's fucking yikes! Rich, Rich, there. Oh man, Rich just uh, he not he not here. Okay, so for me, I I would say um, what's a strong woman that's not masculine? I would say it's more so on the guidelines of. I like being around a woman who understands that she's a woman, not to say know her place, but she maximizes her women. For instance, like, you know, it's always the battle of like, you know, we're equal to you all. And they're like, who? I'm like, no, we're not equal. I'm not equal to you. Because guess what? The being that you are, you're meant to do shit that I can't do. I'm meant to do shit you can't do. So, hey, when you maximize understanding the caringness, you know, giving ideas, you know what I'm saying, being there for people, all this stuff that a woman's energy gives off and the healing mechanism, all this stuff, I'm like, cool. Guess what? I can never be that. I can never compete with that. Versus me, I'm supposed to be strength. And all this, because like, we in a man world. So, hey, yes, you need it. You typically need a man to help you navigate in a man's world. Unfortunately, that's just the reality of what we live in. But better yet, the strength that you hold and what you exhibit, I would say, is the strength of your attributes of you. Tap into who you are. Understanding femininity, that's not my thats not my strong suit. Masculinity is more so. I'm not emotional. You are. Hey, you give more perspective than I would. Hey, you remember more shit than I'm probably going to remember because you have, you're always in the emotional stance. which is why we even remember shit in the first place. Memories are based upon emotions. That's why every, every damn, I'm like, damn, all these conversations we have, I'm like, girl, I don't remember all that shit. <laughs> I wouldn't, I don't, but guess what you do? So guess what? You're going to remind me of some shit. That's why consulting and, and confident, all this shit like that, that I need. Yeah, I need a woman. I like women around me because y'all going to remember shit more than I do, especially when I trust you. So for me, it's more so a strong woman is understanding she is the woman. And I, you don't need masculinity with the man that I'm looking to be. And you're going to hold me to that. So how you keep me in check is understanding like, hey, the words that I say, you can use that against me because that's the man I'm trying to be. Cause that's the type of woman that I've been around for all these years and I understand that blocks me into the man that I am now. So I hold my stats, I hold myself to a whole new standard. And it's not just for me, because I'm trying to do something that ain't common. Most men ain't trying to have four, five generations and trying to still be living. <laughs> Most men ain't trying to do all this shit that we're trying to do, break the all this world, seeing the world and all this other ideas. So like most men ain't trying to do all that shit. But guess what? Once you tell a woman your aspiration, dream like a cool, and she taps into it, you know, yeah, hold me to that. Like, damn, I'm I like that. Like, I'm going to keep feeding your dreams. I want to keep feeding your soul and your spirit. Like, y'all great at doing that shit. Better than a man is. I like I like being fed like that. That, that does something to my spirit. Go ahead, Ty. I don't know if this is a Bible verse or, or what, but I, I heard somebody the other day say that, um, I was watching like this podcast, and he said 
whatever, whatever the woman will amplify whatever the man presents to her. So mm-hmm. whatever you are as a man, that woman is going to take that shit times 10. Whatever, like, if you, if you present a woman with a project, hey, babe, this is my idea, and she's really a, a woman and, and really loves you, she's going to amplify that idea times 10. So, yeah, I just want to say that. No, that's a big thing. But before, before a woman even do that stuff, you have to present her with something, if that makes sense. And it can be, or it can be your, your how you talk to her, all the manners and all that, all that shit off the rip. Right? And once she receives something, then she's going to multiply what you receive. And then you multiply it one more time. And at that point, she got it on autopilot. Like for me, when I, when my initial dating to any woman, I'm treating them like I'm knowing them for years anymore. So I'm interested in her. Like she's the only person that's here in my life right now. That's the type of energy I give. So that type of energy I give, she automatically like, yo, this is, this thing, I'm not used to this type of energy. This is like boyfriend energy. This is like some crazy, like, I'm like, no, this is just my standard how I treat a woman that I choose to be on the date with because we don't have to do this. So, so like men need to elevate their standards but even more so start to appreciate moments to a whole nother different level. And that's why I told her all the time, like, I'm not with that, all that bullshit. I'm, I mean, shit, I'm, I'm just different. I don't care about all that. But nevertheless too, I see the value in a woman. And so when I talk to them, I show the value in them by how I treat them and talk to them, how I'm involved in listening. Y'all motherfuckers are goddesses. Y'all can do shit we can never do. Y'all the, y'all the portal way to hear. Y'all the portal way to hear. <laughs> That's powerful. <laughs> you know, we, we, we gave the egg, like I was telling Zena's shit the other day, like shit. <laughs> we was the sperm that got to that egg to get to this portal. So basically, we we one I, I was I'd be a million of us. I'd be the million sperm. I don't know if y'all seen that that little picture, all the sperm in the background, but one of them outran everybody, got to the egg first, and boom, now he the one. Yeah, we didn't outran a lot of motherfuckers to get here. But better yet, too, the woman is the cocoon for that to get here and blossom and shit. So I said it to say, like, yo, I appreciate a woman for what she is. And so when a woman don't appreciate who she is for herself, then it's cool. I would look to show her that, like, hey, I appreciate you. Thank you. And then by doing so, that fucks with women. Cause it's like, wow, men don't talk to me or men don't see me that way. And for me, that's just more so understanding. Like, look, I am what I am and you are what you are. You don't have to cross the lane over here. It's safe over here. But a lot of women are not, not in that type of environment to feel safe in all aspects. You can express yourself. You can be yourself. Zena asked myself, what can I do to be better and stronger? Like, I want you to be you. That's the most organic way that I could possibly say it. You that I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because it's some powerful shit. Because it, it touched like, your um, heart. Yeah. It touched your so heart. Don't it? You, I'm like, come on, Dad, come on. Come mm-hmm. on, I'm here for you. But that's just me to speaking real shit. Like when you when for me, it's just like because I know I can say a lot, I can do a lot of shit, I can do a lot of shit. But for me, the most organic thing that I can say is that when somebody's looking to grow and be themselves, who I don't want to be that pushing me to all the time. I want to just see you grow and be who you are. And guess what? By us just being that. I can actually see how we bond and connect and are cool. And guess what? Everything you're doing, I know that's just you. That's not persuasion of me. And we can grow even more higher, but better. Yes, when we already grown together naturally, organically, the future is exciting, especially when we start to take other levels. But it's how I see you on the media just bro. You had anything to say? I know I'm going on a rant right now. Everybody got something to say? Ashley, go ahead. Um, where am I in? Thanks, so. Ashley did. Oh, okay. I unmuted myself because you called me out. Yes, ma'am. You know, this, that, like I said earlier, this is a damn good treasure chest. I, you know, I, but I challenge you. I feel we should have discussed not only feminine um, energy, but masculine, like feminine, well, not masculine, but feminine as well, because sometimes that's the error in relationships is that men, they cannot tap into any sense of um, feminine energy, which is not good. Like, because how do you expect to understand that female? Do you feel like men needs to be somewhat feminine or familiar with that territory within themselves to create longevity nowadays? I don't think that they have to uh, like encompass femininity, but I think they should understand it. Like you see these guys on this treasure chest right now, they are um, by having this treasure chest, they are somewhat tapping into their feminine energy is what I'm trying to say, because they're on here with one, two, three, four other women that are able to, I mean, you know, express themselves as a, a, a female and give a perspective that um, maybe they wouldn't have been exposed to, you know, and I think that's truly important. Like, I think that's why, I think that's why people, before they get married, they, they're encouraged to do couples uh, or marriage counseling and all that. 
is because it taps into it. Well, what do you think? Or what do you feel? How does this see? How do you see that? Blah, blah, blah. That's what they're doing. That's what it is. That's that's definitely true. Like this is people don't understand how like having dope groups and stuff like this, it just it changed the game. Completely yeah. changed the game. Just having a conversation. Cause a lot of times, I mean, even I mean, you express it to me like a lot of times, a lot of people in life don't have that type of people they can talk to about some raw stuff, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just and have a not agree to disagree, not a bad nothing, just like okay, damn, I didn't think about it like that. Okay, damn, you know what? That's that's some good shit. Yeah. But even having that balance, not just all dudes and even more so women as well that can express themselves. It's powerful, powerful stuff to think about, yeah. but um, that's definitely some dope things. And um, you know, we're gonna hurt. we're gonna go ahead, and go around, and get these key takeaways, and then we're gonna flip the script with this stretch just after dark. I have a question for but, you. Uh, okay, just after dark. okay, yeah, we're gonna get out of that. You know, um, but nevertheless, um, Zoe, you know, what are some of your key takeaways today, and even more so, what are some key takeaways you want to give about the topic at hand? Unless, um, that. It's okay for a woman to to be strong and not masculine. Um, I think that was pretty much, you know, the biggest thing for me. But yeah, that's it. Zoe, are you eating some chips? I'm not, can I have no, a bottle? I'm, no, I'm mixing. I made lemon water and I'm mixing it with ice. So oh, that's okay, because that's how crunchy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So crinkly as fuck. You're concentrating. <laughs> Got the ruffles with the waves. Right. <laughs> what about you, Outlaw, bro? What about you, Todd, man? Some of your key takeaways, bro, and even more so, some that you want to give. My key takeaway is uh, it's important to have a balance, you know, just to have a balance of everything. And a uh, key takeaway I want to give is um, to the ladies. There's nothing more for me, and I think I speak for most men. There's nothing more that a man likes than a feminine woman with masculine tendencies. The right masculine tendencies, in my opinion, is what I would consider to be right. As far as a woman that you could talk sports with, a woman that you could be the road with for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like a woman that is basically like, damn, I look at you and you like the woman, you like the female version of me. Oh, you know, like, if, like if I was a girl, we'd be best. It's like we'd be besties. You know what I'm saying? Like we'd be best friends forever, best friends forever. Ring. You know. So yeah, I feel like there's nothing more than that. There's nothing more that a man likes than a girl. You know, who is you know super. You know, they they're girly. They're super girly and all of that stuff. But then you know they can also talk about you know Kobe and LeBron and you know whatever. And they may not even be interested in it, but they're interested in you. And so because they're interested in you, they, they learn about it. So that way you guys can build a deeper connection. Just like the man will probably learn about things like, you know, for me, a lot of times women, it'd be like they silly ass TV shows they want to watch. Now, I might not like that TV show, but I'm going to watch it because I like you. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be something for us to talk about, something for us to laugh about, you know what I'm saying? And get closer to, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Hi, more times than not, men get into our TV shows. Yeah, I'll be on some weird like more times than not, they start TV shows. Be like, yeah, this, this TV show hella, hella soft, and the next thing you know, I'm binge watching. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, she done put me on. I'm like, what? Hold on, what's that? What are you doing? I'm like, man, this is fucked up. And then like, and then she put me. I'm like, let me just watch this shit. Let me get a little glance about the first episode. I'm looking at, ooh, what's that? What's the second episode? What's going on? Like, yeah, yeah, this, this always seems like I we got three seasons, like two. I'm about to get into my. Oh, me and Kayla were watching. I think it goes both ways. Like I think it's nothing more that a woman loves more than a man who's masculine, but also a man that they could go and get. Like, let's go get a manny petty babe together. You know, yeah. like something that most men won't do because oh, I'm a man, I ain't gonna get no pedicure and no, you know, no manicure. When really, that's just basic grooming. You know what I'm saying? But really you know, to the, to the natural, to the normal natural society. Uh, you know, that's that's not that's considered feminine. So like yeah. I bet it's cool for girls to be like, Yeah, I'm about to go get a pedicure with Bay. <laughs> you know, or I'm about to go get my nails did and Bay about to get his eyebrows threaded. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just that just to build that bond between you guys. Yeah. Actually, what about uh, what about you, Taylor? What are your key takeaways? And even more so, what is your key takeaways to give? 
Um, kind of, you know, like everyone was saying, um, just being more comfortable in who you are and knowing that you can embrace that without being viewed in a certain way as, you know, as long as you can keep it understandable, logical, you know, and the way you assert yourself, you know, is, is not harmful, you know, to the other person or just too overpowering per se. Um, and it was another point I had, it kind of just slipped my mind as I was talking. Um, but I'm ready for After Dark though. <laughs> yeah, it's be, it's be I got a serious question for yeah, you. Yeah, it's about to be wrong. What yeah. about you, Brian, bro? What is some, what is your key takeaway, bro? And 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 something to give, you know. And and, and let's get let's get some real answers. Yeah, yeah, I don't really really have no answers, you know. But uh what but I want to say, yeah, uh, my key takeaway is like the the balance aspect of it, like how uh Ty once again. I guess spoke for me how he broke all that down saying so I guess I hope y'all can relate to that too because it, it was very damn relatable you know about how you just want that female version of yourself you know mm-hmm. so as he was saying all that I got all the chills because that's I feel like he was speaking for me in my relationship and I understood pretty much everything it was coming from but pretty much a balance y'all two understanding each other and uh that's probably probably it I have to, I don't really know what else to I look at, say I look about at, it. I look at the scale as like the middle is like actually life. And then you, the woman is the feminine, guy is the masculine. There is no tip in the scale. You should always try to maintain. When it starts to go to something like that, that's natural for the scale to do. But don't allow life to, to break the whole scale and then fuck everything up. A lot of times we allow stuff that we can't even control to just mess up our own situation that we can't control. It'd be unfortunate for sure. Okay, nice. that, that, that was deep. I like it. All right, yeah. Harold. Recorded. That's all right, all right. <laughs> Go ahead, Ashley. Ashley, what about your key takeaways and, and gems that you want to give? Um, you know, like I said, I really enjoyed this treasure chest more than I even expected to. Like, I mean, like one thing that I really liked is just hearing the guys, right? That's always helpful as a woman. Um, and then more so it's like I really liked as much as I was uh bagging on old girl the second video the aggressive mm-hmm. lady chick that got out of her character or was didn't keep her decorum her composure it allowed me to see what I don't want from me in any situation and and it allowed me to reflect like that could have been me if I didn't make changes um again I understand you know whatever I don't know the context of the video but like I said it's not important to me uh, Cause that's just not what I want to be like in any situation and under any, you know, circumstance. Yeah. Like I just, I really yeah. liked not only everybody's, you know, opinion. Cause I always like that, but that video really just made me like, yeah, keep, keep going, keep going this way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause I don't want to go that way. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got you. I got you. I appreciate you saying that, you know, uh, rich, you, you back rich brother. Rich Hilton. All right, I think he's busy. Well, Zena, what about you? I'm actually not going to give a key takeaway today. I'm listening. I'm learning. I just, uh, I'm just taking it all in. That's just really what it is. Because when Caleb gave me the topic earlier before he posted it, I was like, I don't know if I can resonate with this. Like that's how I felt. But then I had to break myself down a little bit and notice that there was some masculine traits that I do give all. Um, but I wouldn't consider it masculine, but I know that other people would. So, you know, I'm I'm not gonna give no key takeaways. Just I just honestly I did enjoy listening and learning and just taking it in. Okay, just taking it in. You know, that's your takeaway. I guess so. I that guess so. No, she, she just don't see, know. I didn't realize, right? <laughs> You were animated today. She's using all her things. You know, like she got her nails on. Honey, we like your nail. I got them all. I got them all. You can that. cut that out the recording. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, um, I could definitely say, man, um, my biggest thing is understanding that um, on the on the road of the man that I'm trying to be masculine more so, but understanding that I wanted it, I wanted to be transformed with feminine energy. So like the word that I give is very sacred, like the words of Kevin Gates, you know, what's really toxic masculinity is more so demanding respect and all this and like that versus sacred masculinity don't have to be 
you know, sacred masculinity is not demanding us like that. It's just, it is what it is. You know, when I walk into a room, I don't need to be all this like that. Cool. I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm chilling. <laughs> you know, it's like, cool. Hey, nothing outside of me matters in that regard. If it's going to be disrespectful or come at me. But nevertheless, for a woman wise, you know, um, I just look to the biggest thing is just understanding. I just look to appreciate what's in front of me. Every woman got a different story. Every woman can bring something different in your life. How can you? How can she be a big benefit in your life? I don't care if she's masculine or not. Every woman got something to bring. So you as the man, you know, if you're going to deal with her, how can you help put an environment that can allow her to be great to you? And some women may require more patience than most. You know, and for me, I don't just deal with women who just like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a real one. Like, like I'm like, okay, I'd rather go deal with somebody else. Like, you know, everybody has that option, but better yet for I would say the biggest benefits for me in, on this call is up against understanding. I don't like a combative woman. I do like a woman who agree to disagree openly. Please let me know. Mm -hmm. I, I like all of that. I, I mean, obviously, I know my word is the only thing that matters. But nevertheless, too, your words definitely is something that I suggest after mine than yours. And in your life, it's probably after yourself than in mine. So understanding you are your own son and your solar system. So I appreciate it. But nevertheless, yeah, man, that's, that's the key takeaways on today's topic.